Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you OKX tutorial for beginners. So how do you buy crypto on OKX? But before we start, use the link in the description to register a new account and get a mystery box with up to $10,000 worth of crypto inside. So let's get started. In this case, how do we get started with OKX? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to go to their platform, which in this case is going to be OKX.com or install the app on your mobile phone. In this case, we'll be using the web browser. In this case, go ahead and go to their official website, OKX.com, and from here on, you need to register. So typically at the top right, you'll have the option to register or log, or log in into your account. In this case, go ahead and post, that, post this video and create your account first. But once you've created your account, go back to this video. In this case, once you've created your account here or once inside OKX, the first thing you need to do here is you need to make sure that your account is actually verified and is complete. Now, some of the features in OKX will not work if you haven't verified yourself. In this case, what you need to do is you need to go to the top right here, which in this case is going to be the person icon or the profile icon at the top right. In this case, go to your security, go ahead and click on it. And from here, to protect your assets or your crypto, it is recommended that you basically uh, use a alternative or a two-factor authentication. In this case, you could use your phone authentication. You could also use a authenticator app if you want to, like for example, Google Authenticator, if you want to use that. In this case, there are many ways to always for you to actually protect your account. So in this case, choose whatever you want here. Like for example, if you want to use phone ver authentication, go ahead and click on it. And from here, just click on Setup. In this case, just enter your mobile number, enter the phone authentication that will be sent to you by clicking on the send uh, code here, as well as email authentication that, in this case, an email, a, a code will be sent to your email. And from here on, you should be able to add a mobile authentication on your account. Now, once you've done that, the next thing we want to do here is we now need to verify ourselves. So typically at the top section here, just click on verification. Now, under verification, if you haven't completed this page here, it's basically going to ask some basic information about yourself. Like, for example, your full name, uh, some addresses that where you currently live, and all those details. In this case, go ahead and fill that up. And once you've done that, it's now going to say identity verified. Now, once your identity is verified, you are now able to access all the features that OKX here actually has to offer. In this case, what are the features that OKX here has to offer to you? In this case, the first thing that you'll see here is in the very top here, we have buy crypto, discover, trade, grow, build, institutional, learn, and more. Now, we also have at the top right here, we also see assets. Now, in this case, if you want to learn more about crypto or about OKX, you can go ahead and choose the learn option here. And from here, you should be able to see uh, different articles and different information about OKX and uh, basically the uh, world of crypto. In this case, you could go and choose and open up any article here and start reading. Now, another thing that you get access here is going to be the section for Discover. Discover contains markets, opportunities, and copy trading. Now, markets actually contains markets. Like, for example, you have Bitcoin, ETH, USDT, BNB. So in this case, you should be able to see a different a cryptocurrency in the market section. You also have the favorites here if you have a favorite, uh, if you have any favorites on a, a certain uh, cryptocurrency, if you prefer that. You also have the spot here. You have feature, features, margin, options, and a lot more. Now, you also have the option for opportunities. The opportunities actually give you an idea of what is currently trending, what is hot, what is gainers right now, and what are losers. Now, when we say hot, it means that a lot of people actually trust this cryptocurrency or this crypto. And uh, in this case, a lot of people are actually trading within that specific um, uh, ranking. In this case, uh, BTC, ETH, uh, uh, NOT, uh, PEPE, and Turbo, and Dog, and SHIB. We also have gainers and losers. So gainers are actually the... Um, uh, uh, cryptocurrency or coin that are currently gaining a lot of value losers are the ones that are actually losing or rapidly losing a uh, certain value on them so in some way it is still a valuable information because sometimes there are going to be some uh, downtrend on specific coins or crypto so you might want to leverage that and basically buy all the crypto you want to buy in, uh, you want to buy here just in case it actually shoots up its price so cryptocurrency is very volatile, so you need to know a lot of information. You need to read a lot uh, about uh, cryptocurrency for you to actually succeed. 
In this case, uh, since OKX here offers Learn, which is a great thing for you to learn more about cryptocurrency. Also, have market cap here, new, which is new coins of, uh, that are available. We have trending and turnover here. Now, also under Discover, we have Copy Tree. Now, if you're not aware yet, copy trading is a way for you to copy someone's um, habits on how they tr uh, basically trade. So there's going to be a lot of users uh, you can view here. Like for example, this trader here has an increase of one zero one hundred three point twenty two percent on his or her trading, which is you might want to uh, basically uh, try to uh, copy trade them if you want to. Now, in this case, we also have the option for Crow. In this case, you have the Earn, Loan, and Jumpstart. You have Build here, so if you want to explore, and if you're a developer, if you want to uh, basically uh, see uh, what are the things that you could either do in OKX here, you can access all the information in here. In this case, you have Institutional, which in this case includes Institutional Home, Liquid Marketplace, APIs, VIP loan broker program manage trading subcontracts historical market data now obviously we all know there's going to be a lot of information that you can access here but we first need to uh, basically familiarize yourself with the basics here so first things first how do we buy crypto so to buy crypto is you just need to go to the buy section here and from here you have two options you have the express buy or the p2p trading Excess buy, buy here actually enables you to basically buy a crypto directly from, from your Visa or MasterCard or any other payment method. We also have P2P trading, which in this case, you'll be able to buy or sell crypto from other users within the platform. So if you choose Express Buy here, it should redirect to this UI here, which in this case, you'll be able to start buying. In this case, for example, I'm going to indicate the amount that I want to actually pay. So you can also change the currency if you want to. So in this case, if you want to use AUD, USD, go ahead and type that here. In this case, since we've added, added for example, I'm going to use USD here just to give you an idea. Now we also have USDT here. So USDT is a type of stable coin, which in this case, the value itself is actually pretty near to actual dollars or US dollars, which is something a great, it is a, something really great because you'll be able to uh, basically have a stable coin, like a stable coin, because again, cryptocurrency is a, a very volatile market. Now in this case, once you want to buy it, just click on buy USDT here. And from here, we just need to provide or choose your peer method. So in this case, in my current region, WISE and Revolut is the only way available for us to actually buy in here. So we have P2P Express. Now if you want to do that, just click on the verify option here and just follow the steps here for you to make your purchase. Now also, if you want to sell, just click on sell here. And from here, if you have any crypto that is available to sell for PH, it should appear here and or you'll be able to basically uh, choose that crypto and you'll be able to identify which uh, how, many, how much you will receive. And from here, just click on sell USDT and just follow the steps moving forward for you to actually start setting it. Now, in this case, you also have P2P trading here, which in this case enables you to buy a uh, certain like a cryptocurrency from different users. So they have different prices here. Like for example, this user actually, uh, uh, actually, uh, for example, let's go ahead and go to sell here. So for example, you wanna cash out from here, you should be able to see how much a specific uh, user is actually selling right now. So currently for one USDD, they are actually uh, paying you 58.53 Philippine Peso for one USDD. On this case, if you also want to uh, basically use their services, just click on sell here. And from here, you should be able to see a DP Metis that is available here. In this case, once you click on sell here, they will actually, or it will actually uh, give you a pop-up here, which in this case, you need to fill out some information and it would actually redirect you to another page, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, basically um, have a conversation with them. How do you, how do the, how do you want to actually uh, have your crypto or how do you want to actually receive your funds? So in this case, the PM methods here, make sure to take note of that because that is the only PM methods that I actually select. So it might get, it might be different for different users. So make sure to check their PM methods that they have. Now, if you want to trade, you need to go to the trade tab here. We have convert, spot, futures, margin, and options. So in this case, there are going to be a lot of tra uh, trading instruments here, but for now, we want to use a very basic one, which is going to be spot. Now spot here would contain uh, you, or would actually enable you to uh, trade from your spot wallet. 
In this case, in the section here, there are going to be different uh, things that you need to remember here. So first is going to be the cryptocurrency that you're currently trading. So at the top left, you have BTC or DAI. So in this case, we want to change this to BTC and USDT because again, we want to compare our cryptocurrency or crypto here to a stable coin so that we'll have a proper idea of how they actually work. Now next to it, you have the actual uh, how much actually BTC actually went up. So for example, and uh, right now there's going to be a 0.29% increase to its value. Currently the uh, value of one BTC on one USD, the uh, lowest that I got in the last 24 hours, the highest that I got in the last 24 hours, the 24 hour volume of BTC here and the 24 hour turnover. Now in this case at the left side, this is your trading tool. You have the option to either buy or sell. Now in this case, for example, you want to uh, basically buy a crypto on a specific uh, value here. In this case, we want to use, so since you're a pretty new user here, we, it is recommended that you first use limit here. So limit actually uh, enables you to specify a price here that you want to buy on or basically add an order on. So in this case, for example, when uh, BTC reaches a specific amount here, so for example, the value of BTC is going to be 67880 So whenever they reach that specific price, you'll be able to uh, basically uh, buy a uh, BTC. Like for example, going to estimate 0 0.0001. So for example, once they actually reach this specific price, you'll be able to buy this amount of BTC. In this case, it will actually give you the total USDT that you need for you to actually uh, make that transaction. In this case, go ahead and click on buy BTC here and it's going to actually make an order at the bottom section here. Orders are from the name of is going to be order because right now we are using limit. So again, it will be posted in here and once it actually reach that specific price, your order will be closed. So once you actually click on buy BTC here, it's going to be first uh, mark as open. And once it, the transaction is committed, it's going to close that order. Now, in this case, in the right section here, you have order books. So these are the orders of different users. So currently, this user actually uh, sold uh, BTC and people actually buy this BTC. So in this case, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of prices that uh, uh, changes here. So there's going to be 99.047% of users are currently are on red here, meaning a lot of users are actually selling on this specific position. Now, in this case, uh, the green ones here are the users that are currently buying. So in this case, green is buying, red is selling. The right side here, this is a graph. Now for more advanced users, or if you want to actually, if you want to predict how a, uh, a BTC would actually, or the crypto would actually move, you have the option to use the tools here. So there, obviously there's going to be a lot of tools here that you could use, yeah, but for example, we have the trend line here if you want to add a trend line into your graph here. So in this case, if you want to estimate and predict how its price is going to move, this is a great way for you to uh, basically add marks into your trading here, just to estimate what's going to happen. Now, also at the top right, you have the option for information and trading data and also the settings here. Now, if you want to change the interface itself, because not all users are used to this UI, you could go to the interface section here and you could change either to standard, advanced, chart trading, we have the vertical and create layout if you want to create your own. So yeah, so in this case at the top right, we also have assets. Now, assets would actually contain all your assets. So let's go to our assets here. So assets would contain uh, your assets again. So in this case, you have the funding uh, wallet. So in this case, these are the cryptocurrency that is currently in your funding. You have the trading here. So in this case, you have either crypto or cash. Also have the grow analysis. So there's going to be a different uh, things they give you here, assets. So the most important thing here is going to be trading and funding. And yeah, so in this case, those are the basics that you need to know here in OKX, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.